Hey everybody, this is Workforce Gaming. I'm Brad along here with Doug. Hi. So Doug finally got to play one of his most anticipated games of the year, which is Abzu. Because yes. for some reason, that's a really cool thing. It is a cool thing. Oh, come on. Like, a pseudo journey sequel is absolutely worth getting excited about. It is, but not as the best game of the year when No Man's Sky comes out in five days. <laughs> oh, man. This this whole month is on fire. Like, it's crazy. I mean, because we got a bunch of arty games that come out super close to each other. Because we got Bound, Inside came out recently, and coming to PS4 really soon. Abzu. I'll even throw No Man's Sky as sort of an... Not a normal game, for sure. I definitely not a normal game. Artie's a bit bit of a stretch, but it's a definitely a not stretch, a normal yeah. game. So, you love Journey. This is like Journey, I but do. it's underwater, and I don't know if you have a big mm. tail or whatever this time, so... <laughs> Abzu, how was it? A- Abzu is, is great. That That's what I can say. I, I, I kind of read a few reviews beforehand. I read, like, one or two, but I had already bought it, so I was like, you know what? I kind of want to get my own impressions for it. Um, the game is great. It is... N- is it because I think the question on everybody's mind is, is it as good as Journey? It's it's not as good as Journey, but it is it's much, much stronger in Journey in some aspects and far, far weaker in other aspects. Um, just kind of get the good. The good so I always like to start with the good stuff. Game is gorgeous. The game is drop dead. Best looking, probably one of the best looking games. I I try to think if I can confidently say it's the best looking game I've ever played. Uncharted. It's I oh OK, this is going to be a whole other debate. I don't like realism. <laughs> So, <laughs> like, Drive Club is, like, when it starts just looking like a movie, I'm like, okay, yeah, you guys did a good job. <laughs> it's like, okay, you guys technically did. I, this no, this amazing it, looking thing is completely unimpressive because it looks like real life. Who gives yeah. a shit? <laughs> you made it look I, like real life. I don't care. Yeah, it's just not It's just not as visually. I think those games are, I think, like, Uncharted and Drive Club aren't just as visually striking. But uh, I, I would say art, art design-wise has probably the best looking game ever, I've ever played. Um, it actually really reminds me of Fantasia, uh, the, not, the, not the game, not the Xbox One dancing game. I haven't played it, but I'm just going to say it's not that one. I, <laughs> I, I'm going to assume that 99% of people did not go to that when you said Fantasia. <laughs> and I'll just assume a lot of modern gamers actually haven't seen Fantasia. So <laughs> this might not be the best analogy, but it actually is really cool. It's kind of like a, um, it, it does feel like, cause the music, it, the music is like this really nice orchestral score, but it's, it, it feels like a classical orchestral score. It's not like that simple or not, not simple is not the right word, but like God of War or a lot of like action games you play. It's like, blah, blah. It's like these like really deep strings and like this really like heavy, heavy music. Um, well, this is like, it's much, it's much lighter. It's like this very light orchestral music and you're sitting there swimming around with all these fishes and it kind of, it feels a lot like a playable, short film or a playable animated film um that and there's no talking so it's all music so like a lot yeah. of it relies on the music and the visuals so I, I guess i guess comparably like i guess a more like universal thing would be like a music video but that's 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 putting it way 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 too lightly because it's it's just i think the i think the impact of the game like the emotional impact you're going to get from the game is from the visuals and from the audio kind of like journey kind of like sort of like journey uh, Journey had really strong visuals. I, I will say Journey had three really good cores. Journey had really strong visuals. It had a really, really strong sound design and art and uh, music. And it had a really strong, not, I'm not going to say story isn't the right word, but it had a really good, I guess, story. Yeah. So it's, 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 it it's, had, not, it, it's like not really a story, but it's kind of a story. Is that what you're trying to get at? Well, I, I mean, it's, it's, yeah, it's not, a, it's not a, Journey's story is a hard thing to define. It had, it had yeah. a very distinct goal. I'd say I'd say it gave you a good goal, and the story is up for interpretation. But they they made it up for interpretation that's not so mysterious that you think that you're lost, but it's mysterious enough that you can think like you know you you, you can get different perspectives on what it meant to those different people. Yeah. So um so the thing with Abzu Abzu has again really really strong music, really strong art, probably st- stronger art than Journey. Like this game is better looking than Journey. It's just I I I can't tell you how good looking this game is. That would um, make this, sense because Journey is like eight years old. <laughs> no, but e- even so, that game still look. I even art design wise, I'm just yeah, saying like, okay, purely yeah. from an art standpoint. But the thing is, this this game actually has a really explicit story that I think hurts it, because the explicit story there's not a lot of room for interpretation. There is some mystery to it, but not in the same way. Journey, like Journey, kind of makes you think. If you think about Journey's story, kind it kind you kind of think about your own personal experience and how it might relate to Journey. Like yeah. Um, like the, I mean, they and they kind of like Sony's actually been kind of pushing that too. Like they'll show people like how they're affected by Journey, and some people talk about, like, "Oh, I lost a friend recently, or I lost a father, 
or maybe I'm going through a hard time in my life and this is the my journey and I can sort of see the relationship between that. Mm -hmm. um, well, Abzu has a very it has, it has a mysterious story, but it has a mysterious story in the fact that you feel like you're missing plot points rather than seeing any sort of like deeper meaning behind it. So the, there's some characters in the story. Uh, characters, again, is like putting... No, there's no talking. Yeah. But there are some characters in the story. There's like a well-defined... Not that well-defined, but there's an antagonist. And it just... It feels kind of like too video gamey. It's like this game needs a bad guy. Or this game needs a... a needs like a cute character this game needs the and it doesn't feel like it needs those things it feels like this plot that they sort of try to like sh it really does feel kind of shoehorned in it doesn't really match the tone of the game and it doesn't match the visuals and it doesn't match the quality of the music so i guess in that regards because you read a lot they'll say they'll, there's a lot of comparisons to journey where they'll say things like that like it doesn't have that same emotional like you know impact Im impact yeah but but because the story is too explicit but at the same time, to me personally, it had a very strong emotional impact because the visuals are so arresting and you can see the talent in those visuals. And it is by it's the same art director as Journey or I'm going to say or at least one of the art the one of the guys with the concept art for Journey and the same music. Yeah, but it did yeah. not have the guy who actually directed the game, which I assume. So it kind of it's kind of like missing that that the, the um, piece that ties it all together and puts it into that big emotional impact piece as opposed yeah. to going. We've got these really good, talented people working on this. We need that one yeah. person just to bring it all together to give it that big, kind of like big punch that Journey had. Yeah, exactly. And and the game actually has a very, um, I think Journey, like you never really knew what was happening next, but Abzu actually kind of lays out like you have a level, you have a travel period, and then you have another section that I'm not going to go into, but it kind of, it's kind of uh, cyclical. So like when you enter a new area, you understand once you go through the store, you're going to go to a new, you're going to go through X, Y, Z, and then you get to a new area, then go X, Y, Z, go to the new area. So there's not a lot of, there's a lot of mystery in like, oh, what's the next area going to be? But it doesn't have that sort of journey. I feel like you never knew what was going to happen next. Um, while yeah. this one, you sort of have an idea what's going to happen next. But but the thing is, like, I mean, that's kind of getting into the technicality things, but the game does some things that are just, like, so utterly incredible. I, I, one of the things I actually really appreciate the game is that all of the the fish in the game are real fish. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, know, I know it sounds silly, but it's, like, it's crazy how fantastical the game looks. Like, it looks like something from Final Fantasy. Like, honestly, if I was going to try to compare this game to two games, I'd say it's, like, Journey meets Final Fantasy because it seems so fantastical. But it's all based on real life. I mean, it's real life, but it has like these, it has like this nice like geometric and like these really bright colors. But I, I think it's really exciting that like you can make this world that looks so fantastical, but it's all based on reality. So it's kind of like like well, Uncharted, like we were, you talked about earlier, it's like I think Uncharted is not as good looking because it's just based on realism. And then this one instead took that realism and made something fantastical out of it. Yeah, so I guess I'm curious here now because Journey very much was that fantastical, like no real connection to real life stuff. Like, where mm -hmm. where is this going? Because you are just like a normal person in the game, correct? Like a scuba diver, essentially. And then you're in with real life fishes. And yeah, like, is this connected very much to realism or does it still have that kind of that fantasy overtone that Journey did where it's like, okay, my mm -hmm. scarf's getting longer. There's all these weird mythical things going on. I, I mean, I it, that's kind of getting into spoilers. I will say, the fish in the environments... Well, not okay. <laughs> it's kind of getting spoilers, but no, that it, it's not just realism. Okay. I would say, that's that's not even spoilers, because I'd say the look of the scuba diver makes you go, yeah, that kind of doesn't look like a scuba diver. It kind of looks yeah. like a scuba diver, but not really. Okay, I mean, yeah. there's... I, yeah, I mean, I'm going to say, like, I go into this game expecting that it's going to be like you're walk going swimming around these fantastical environments, but they do mix it up, especially like the final act. And uh, I'd say like the last, I'd say the last half of the game, they definitely mix it up a little bit. Uh, but I clearly, I just, I can't get into the spoilers, but um, really, I think the plot was just kind of an excuse to show some really, really, really cool environments. Which like, is curious because yeah. I feel like when you have that, then you normally don't necessarily want to put in a whole full-on narrative idea mm -hmm. in that very progressive way because I'm, I'm just constantly going back to like flower in my mind where it's like mm -hmm. that game was nothing more than we made a pretty thing you know what i mean there was no narrative there was no anything it was just i'm, I'm i got in this world and i know that i have to go through and collect everything and then mm -hmm. i go on to the next pretty world like is th is that more of an apt comparison than journey um no because i i, I it has a it has a very i'm saying it has a very explicit story. actually it does have a lot in common with flower though Especially in just like how the design, how you control and stuff, I'd say gameplay wise, it's actually very similar to Flower. 
but no, it's it's more. It, I'm saying it's like it's more explicit than Flower. I, I mean, sorry. It's I wish it just had that sort of journey. Journey is just like get to the mountain, and that's all yeah. you know. And this one sort of tries to weave in some like unnecessary plot into it. Oh, okay. Uh, so that's that's kind of what it feels like. But uh, I, I mean, I'd say like this is an easy this is an easy recommendation for like people who like Journey, people who like Flower, people who like um. I, I I don't know. This is this is just like the. I think the game is probably getting. I, it's it's not getting mixed reviews. It's, it's all getting like pretty positive reviews. Like people say it's great. They won't say it's the the best game ever. Like Journey was, uh, because I just don't think it's going to have the impact that Journey has. But this is in everything but name Journey too. Well, and I think it's harder to sit here and look at this game as something new and original. I mean, Journey was something we'd mm-hmm. never seen before. Yeah. So that instantly, I mean, if it's an 8 out of 10 or whatever score happens to be, bumps it up a little bit because this is just something brand new, where this is something that, I mean, from, I think, day one when you saw the trailer, so you went, all right, Journey 2, how's this going to compare to Journey? And yeah. everybody has, and Journey is one of those, like, the end-all, be-all of this type of game that, you know, yeah. everything's going to go... Well, it's not Journey. Well, it's not Journey. Well, yeah. this is close, but it's not Journey. And I think that might be where some of these scores are suffering suffering from. Yeah, and I, I just like it. Just could never. It just it was kind of doomed from the beginning to just never be able to live up to that. Yeah, but I think it does so many other things like so well that it's it's okay that it's not. I th- I think it excels in Journey. Um, I think it doesn't have the emotion. I'll agree with like reviewers that doesn't have the emotional impact of Journey. But I'll say it ex- it excels and beats Journey and everything else though. Like art design, like hands down. The art design is just absolutely fantastic, and they do some really cool stuff um, with the fish. <laughs> that it's like it's kind of surprising that like how how shocking um, it is, just because like the amount of fish on screen is like it's unheard of, like literally thousands, and they all have their own schools. And there's like there's actually there's parts we can just kind of stop and just kind of watch. There's actually an ecosystem going on. Like there's 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 fish that are hungry. There's fish that's sc- like school. There's fish that don't school. There's like it's That's it's a much more I think Journey was like kind of traveling through a dead world and this is traveling yeah. through a live one. Huh. That's kind of cool. Yeah, it's very cool. It's really good. It's and it, it's like it's an, it's an easy recommendation for me. I, I I loved it. I I just I can see why people. I think you're doing it a disservice by just trying to immediately compare it to Journey when you really should just try to think like okay, this is something same but new. Um, yeah. Yeah. Last thought I had with this, and it's something yeah. that instantly goes to my mind as soon as i saw it is how does this game control because i hate swimming oh uh i i um you compare it to flower earlier which does have that kind of like weighty like moving through something feel yeah like does it hinder it at all because i just swimming sucks uh no because i think i think with with like swimming in other games like their design first is not a swimming game yeah well, this is like this is first this is primarily a swimming game it's kind of like asking me like how does journey control it's like uh okay oh <laughs> it's kind of like, <laughs> like i was not frustrated with the controls and i think it, it allows you to speed up or slow down however you want to i i, I think it i think it works really i i i think it works really well because actually the controls you actually get a surprising amount of control in your character you can do some kind of neat things that are not necessary at all <laughs> like doing backflips or or breaching the the surface and like kind of doing like a backflip thing like it, oh, it's cool. it's it's a neat thing that you can play around with it really all you need to do is go up down left right but you, they kind of give you enough control that you can do like you know spins and all these other kind of thing, neat things. I, I the whole time I was playing, I was never like I should be going faster. Um, this mm-hmm. is frustrating. This is not it. It the the tone and the speed of the game itself matches you know your movement. I, yeah. I think I think bad movement is when you feel like you should be going faster or you feel like you you're going too fast sort of thing. But I think I think it, I never I never thought for a second it was like this is too slow. Cool, awesome. So check out Abzu. Apparently Absolutely. it's great. It is amazing. I need to check it out at some point. Not yet, no. though. <laughs> nah, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. How much is it? It's like 15 bucks, 20 bucks. It was 15 if you pre-order like I did, but now it's 20 <laughs> Yeah, and Inside, and No Man's yeah. Sky. So many yeah. good games this month, which we'll have reviews of those later on this month. But Actually, yeah. Yeah, we should. <laughs> probably. Unless we get lazy and or cheap. One of those two will probably happen. <laughs> but anyway. Uh, this has been Workforce Gaming. You can follow us on Twitter at Workforce Gaming. Subscribe to us here on YouTube. Uh, leave us a comment. Let us know what you think. Uh, and we will see you later.